What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone. I hope this year is going to be a lot better year. I want to thank all my subs who've been here in the past. I've said this many a times. You folks are what make up this channel. Yes, I put out the material, but you folks are the ones that make the channel. So thank you very much and much love to you all. I want to thank all the newcomers who've also jumped on the channel as well. You're going to find we do things differently here. What I do is I let you make up your mind as to what these anomalies are. I don't jam anything down anybody's throat. I present what I think is anomalous, meaning it stands out from its environment. I show you it, and then you make up your own mind as to what you think it is. So basically, this is what we do. Here's an example. Let's suppose we're looking at a lunar photo. We're looking down, and we see something that looks like, like a tic-tac shape, okay? We see something on the ground. The powers that be what they'll do is they'll hide this, and how they hide this is they'll put like a darker area and what it does is it covers up half of this oval shape. The other half may be completely whited out. What we do is we try to find the line or the outside shape so that we can expose the whole object. Now, this could be done like on Martian photos. They put different colors over them. They may blur half of the object, and the other half is completely fine. So what we try to do is balance this out. So if it's really dark on one side of it and really light, we try to make the lighter side darker and the darker side a little bit lighter exposing the object that's really there. Now, will you see things that are totally clear? Absolutely not. These things weren't meant to be seen at all, but we do the best we can to bring the objects out. What we're looking at today is another moon photo taken by the Lunar Orbiter 2. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right, here's the photo we'll be looking at. It's gonna be H3. Now you can see the main photo, it says medium or MED, and what you have on the right-hand side is close-ups of this particular area. Now, H3 is actually the crater itself. You can see the double crater right here on H2. It's right here in the main photo. And you can see right here in the bottom is also in here as well. Now, we want to go to H3. You can see it at the top. You want to go all the way to the bottom here and see it's right here, 2162 H3. Now, it says preview JPEG 1 meg or print resolution JPEG is 4 megs, right? It wouldn't matter the size. Every time I put it in Photoshop, we make it much larger so that when we zoom in, it does not break apart. Okay. So again, we're looking at this one right here, the H3. As always, folks, you will always get the link here. We don't just post a video uh, showing a picture. We never show you a link. We want you to investigate it as well, right? Especially if you are also into putting these things into Photoshop or any kind of uh, enhancing software. All right. So let's just jump right into Photoshop. Here it is right here. You can see this was the size of the photo right there. And here it is in this size. Now, by the way, if anybody's got an idea, people keep asking me, please make your, your cursor much bigger. You can see right here, just right of the photo, it's black, it's very small. Let me show you what happens when I bring it over to the edge of Photoshop. See how much bigger it is? How much better that looks? As soon as I get into the area, it's very small. Now I can make the cursor itself bigger through the settings on uh, Windows 10, that's easy. In here is totally different. Again, look how big it is and it's highlighted. Come into here, not there. You can barely see the thing. This is the reason why we try to use colors and circle and put arrows to show you these objects, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, now many of you have seen this particular photo because I think uh, Alien Hunter has showed it many a times, close up and everything else. Now, I've done this before. I've touched on this myself and it's a really wild looking photo. But what I get a kick out of is the way these striations, you can see the way, like they'll just try to use a tool and just make striations over objects, all right? You'll see what looks like a haze over a lot of these areas. Like, this doesn't look too bad down here, looks pretty decent, although that's manipulated. But then look, you can see what looks like just like a haze put over it so that you don't see any individual objects. That's the whole key, to block your eyes from seeing what's really there. I'm gonna show you what's at the top here, and then we're gonna have a look at what's in the bottom in this crater itself. And folks, there is a ton to see in here. And once you enhance it and pop these, it's gonna become really obvious that there was living beings on the moon. It's as simple as that, right? All right, 
We're also going to show you a couple things that stuck out, and they won't be too obvious, to be honest with you guys. However, once we get into this more and more, it becomes a little bit more obvious. For instance, let's go back here in the background. Here's a perfect example right here. You can see what looks like, very small, what looks like a circle. See that right here? I didn't think nothing of it until I enhanced this. Now, without doing anything, look at the way the, the blurring is right here. For some reason, many people doubt that they actually blur any of this. It is, in fact, there, folks. Now, again, this circle here. We have something that looks either... I don't know what to make of it, folks. I don't know if this is some kind of spacecraft, and you'll see this in a moment. But you'll see it does this. Comes around like that there. Doesn't look too obvious right now, does it? But you'll see that once it's enhanced. And there's much, much more here, folks. You just have to look at the, the lines underneath this whited out, contrasted in one way or the other, whether it's too bright, like the exposure's been brought up, things like that, right? All right. On this side, I'm going to drop down. There's some interesting pieces here, like right here. You can see the line of it going down like this, going like that. You have something like an overhang over here, all in this section. Notice the small squares in here. Again, put these lines like this, and it distracts your eyes, folks. You just can't see this stuff. But it is, in fact, there. All right, let's do a full enhancement. Let's see what we can find. I'm just going to circle a few things here. Something up here. This is the object I was just telling you about. This overhang here. Now, have a look at the smaller pieces. And there's a ton of little things all in here as well. Something shiny or something there. Not sure what to make of that. You can see what looks like a circular piece here with objects or something inside there. And folks, I'm not going to spend too much time on this upper part because to be honest with you, it's really super vague. It really, really is. Let me show you something up top here real quick. Like I was pointing out earlier. Let's have a look at these objects I was telling you about between this, this other object on the ground, and what this thing actually becomes, okay? The bigger objects obviously could pull out better. Okay, now when you start to notice, you start to see a little bit of individuality of these pieces like this. This thing has this piece, almost looks like a wing of some sort, sticking out of this so-called hill. What could that possibly be? I mean, really, folks, what is that? See that right there? Make it darker. What are we looking at here? Let me just back up just a hair. But those objects are in the photo. Again, I can see this with ease right here, right there, and I can see this other object right here. Okay? Slide over to the left. Folks, these are not hills like they want you to believe. This is nothing of the sort. And for the new folks here, I always encourage people to have a magnifier. Magnifying glass you hold in your hand, you can look at this, or a jeweler's eyepiece, so they can see this stuff much better, okay? So I always tell people, pause it right here, have a look at it with your magnifier. If you're looking at a phone or a tablet, these things are going to be much smaller and harder to see. On a PC, I've got a 27-inch HD monitor, and I can see these things pretty darn well. On a phone, maybe not so much. Or if you can take the video itself and cast it under your much larger TV, do that. People have gotten a lot better results by looking at it through a TV or something much larger screen. All right. Now, like I said, you got a few things that are sticking out here, uh, really kind of wild looking little things. And then of course you've got uh, this stuff here on the left and I'm just gonna head and zoom back into that. And again, have a look at these other small objects. And of course we have this object in the background, not sure to make of that, this object right here. Not sure what to make of that. If it's part of something much bigger, I don't know. All right, let's jump down to the bottom where you're going to really see some stuff. 
That's really, really wild. Again, don't look at the photo, folks. Look into the photo. And I'm just going to show you a couple examples of that, and then we're going to jump right into this. All right, perfect example. Let's look down right here. We see this gray area. And then we can see something in the white areas. Check that out right there. Let me just zoom in a little bit. But I know I don't want to go in too far, but check that out. It looks like objects with shapes in there sitting in the white as well as the gray areas. Sometimes you'll find something that's like this. It'll be divided, and you see this side here is mostly darker and this side lighter. Why? It throws the eyes off. But what if you can bring this outline back out and pull it through the actual darker area as well as the light area. So bring down the light area, bring up the dark area. That's where you find this stuff. Okay. What I'm looking at is right here. Most people just look at these photos and don't study them, folks. Notice how here it goes to here and what looks like a 90 degree angle and goes over to, to the back. We'll also have another piece that looks like it's kind of doing this. Something's coming out and there's another layer here, okay? That's what stuck out for me to begin with. You can see that. Something over here. Well, it looks like some kind of weird overhang. See this right here? You can see right here. You can still see the shape of it doing this. But what is going on on top of it? So either there's objects on top of a white platform, you can see the corner of it right there, and a piece of it right here. and there's objects on top of it, or this is being taken out. Meaning, they're putting like a scribble or the airbrushing over this thing. Notice the other pieces here. Now, notice how we have really dark areas here and extremely light here. What gives here? How is the moon like this? It makes no darn sense, right? Well, it will when you discover that bringing down this area here will reveal other structures. If they take away the lines, take away the darker areas, meaning shadows of said objects, it becomes a 2D and becomes flat. If you were to bring back the shadows, the dark shapes, or the lines and outlines to these objects, they suddenly pop out, okay? All right, let's just jump right into the full enhancement. Have a better look, shall we? Okay. Now, we'll start from up here, relatively in the top area. You can see objects, if you look carefully in the dark, here. All these other little pieces. This whole area here. Here. What are the chances of nature doing that? Okay. You've got this right here. Look at the way this ground goes like this. What are the chances of that doing that, folks? You can actually see a 90 degree corner. There's two 90s right there going like this and coming out like this. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this is being hidden. Still, I'm barely bringing this out, okay? This object here I showed you earlier, doing this. See a line going this way. Notice this other line here. Looks almost like it's off the ground. We have something else right here. Almost looks like an arch-shaped weird thing right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. And again, these lines, I believe, and they may be pot structure as well, but you can see how it runs up here. So this may be part of these lines you see here running down the photo. And obviously that's just part of the photo and that's just the way it is. Now as we scroll down, check this out folks, this whole area here. Look into the photo, not at it. Look at the little bits and pieces here. Again, you're not going to see anything crystal clear. We'd love to, but that doesn't work that way. Not if they don't want you to see this to begin with, right? Again, pause this any way you want to and have a better look. Use a magnifier, reading glasses, as long as it magnifies the area, right? Here's the other area I was telling you about earlier. Now, this right here is really wild because when you zoom into this, Notice how it's a round platform, or at least pretty darn close, and it has what looks like things standing up. Now, is that from the lines in the photo? That could very well be, so we can put that aside. But look at the objects in here, folks. 
just back up a little bit. Pieces like this here. And there's a ton of it in here to see, folks. I can't point out every single thing in here, but you can see this thing coming down like this. And you see these, these objects again. Again, I'm not so sure if this is not part of the image detail that's been ruined in the photo right there, these two lines. But this other object, you can see it's doing this. Have a better look. See that? Zoom in a little bit right there. All the smaller details. I tried my best to even try to sharpen it, but not over sharpen. Notice all of these shapes in here. Okay. And watch what happens when we go back to the original. It's completely whited out. But you can still see there are objects there, folks. Just bring it down a little bit. Now, have a look at all the other objects in this whole area. Again, pause it. Have a look. I looked at it with my magnifier, and good Lord, is this stuff in here that's just absolutely crazy. And you can bet it's nowhere near natural. Look at the way this thing is right here, this big white piece. And funny enough, there's a big gray area running right through it. Why? Because they don't want you to see this stuff, folks. Back out a little bit. Pause it here. Have a good look at it. Here's another one i just seen. Like I said, every time I look at this, I see something different. Check this out. Right here. Notice how we can... Looks like there's something right here. Another arch-shaped piece. See that? Looks like it has these dots. Something smaller there. You folks see that? Check that out. Now, is that natural? And the other one's right here? I don't think so. I'm seeing things in this photo that are just, to me, a mind-boggling because of what's really here. This to me alone, this area, screams intelligently made to me. Now, again, I would love, like everybody else, to see this stuff crystal clear. Unfortunately, not gonna happen. These photos weren't meant for any of us to see. I'm gonna leave it just like this. I want you folks to have a look at this with your magnifiers right here. Pause it, have a really good look. And while you're at it, look into these other areas, the darker areas. Look at them carefully. Okay? Some of them, you'll find, you'll see like a shape, like I said, half of the object will be really bright, and the other one will be in the darker areas. We want to see it all. Okay? Just structures galore. Now, judging by this photo, in my opinion, there's a civilization living on the moon. And there you go, folks. Folks, when I see objects like this, it blows me away. Why? If it's not ours, whose is it? How long has it been there? Who put it there? What was it used for? Were they mining the moon? Were they simply living on the moon? I'm seeing, in my personal opinion, structures everywhere. I can see things, shapes that are right next to each other. That's something that doesn't happen in nature. Is it structures? Is it something else that is on the moon we're not aware of? Well, if it's not natural, it's not a mountain, it's not a crater, uh, any of that sort, then what could it be? If it's not natural, it can only be unnatural. And if it's unnatural, is it possible there's an alien civilization living on this moon? Our moon, our satellite. In my opinion, I say yes. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what you've got to say. And don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, I've got many more coming up. Again, thanks for joining me again in this New Year's. Stay tuned for the new stuff. I think you're going to like it. Again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.